The Incredible Photos of Pluto. We welcome you to this new documentary. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison, and thank you for deciding to watch this educational content. We will show you the closest approach ever made to the planet Pluto, in a recount of the most impressive photos and images of Pluto's strange surface, rugged mountainous regions, ice volcanoes and incredible little known facts. Do not stop watching this video until the end, you will be surprised what you will discover about the planet Pluto, thanks to technology. From an engineer's perspective. Let's start. This is the planet Pluto, discovered on February 18, 1930, considered the ninth and smallest planet in the solar system by the International Astronomical Union, until 2006, when after much debate and questioning, it was decided unanimously to reclassify Pluto. Pluto as a dwarf planet, because it does not meet the characteristics of a planet. Its great distance from the Sun and Earth, together with its small size, prevents it from shining enough, which is why it can only be appreciated with telescopes of certain capacities. Being for many years a true enigma, until, thanks to technology and telecommunications, it managed to be photographed closely in high resolution by the modern New Horizons spacecraft of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, allowing humanity to discover sharply the real aspect of Pluto. Let's travel, together, the planet Pluto, through these incredible images. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. Since 1992 numerous rocks or celestial bodies have been discovered in the same region of the solar system where Pluto is located, this being one of the reasons why it was no longer considered a planet. Well, there are three other objects in the solar system that are about the same size as Pluto, they have been named after Ceres, Makemake, and Eris. These objects, along with Pluto, are much smaller than the other known planets, so they are planets, but dwarfs, that is, very small. Thanks to the technology incorporated in this mission called New Horizons, it was that on July 14, 2015 these images of the closest point to the planet Pluto were achieved. These photos were taken about 12, 500 kilometers away. In addition, the New Horizons probe was able to make all kinds of measurements of the dwarf planet Pluto. Using real data from the New Horizons spacecraft and digital elevation models of Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, Mission scientists have created flyby movies that offer spectacular new perspectives on the many unusual features that were discovered and that have reframed our views of the Pluto system, from a point perspective even closer than the spacecraft itself. This dramatic overpass of Pluto begins over the highlands to the southwest of the great expanse of nitrogen ice plain and formerly called Sputnik Planitia. The viewer first passes the western edge of Sputnik, where it skirts the dark, cratered terrain of Cthulhu Macula, with the blocky mountain ranges nestled within the plain seen to the right. The course heads north past the rugged and fractured highlands of Voyager Terra and then turns south over Pioneer Terra, which features deep, wide pits, before concluding over the jagged terrain of Tartarus Dorsa in the far eastern hemisphere. Of the encounter, mapping and digital rendering were performed by Paul Schenk and John Blackwell of the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston. This is the most detailed view of Pluto's terrain you'll see in a long time. Stretching across the hemisphere that faced the New Horizons spacecraft when it flew past Pluto on July 14, 2015, this mosaic swath now includes all of the highest resolution images taken by the NASA probe. With a resolution of approximately 260 feet 80 meters, per pixel, the mosaic gives New Horizons scientists and the public the best opportunity to examine the fine details of the various types of terrain on Pluto and determine the processes that shaped them and they gave them those characteristics. The width of the strip varies from more than 55 miles, 90 kilometers, at its northern end to about 45 miles, 75 kilometers, at its southern point. The images in the mosaic were obtained by New Horizons Long Range Reconnaissance Imager approximately 9,850 miles, 15,850 kilometers, from Pluto, shortly before New Horizons' closest approach. This photo shows us the real colors of Pluto, 
they are natural color images and are the result of a refined calibration of the data collected by the New Horizons spacecraft's visible multispectral imaging camera. The processing creates images that would approximate the colors the human eye would perceive, bringing them closer to true color. Pluto's striking features are clearly visible, including the bright expanse of a region on Pluto called the Icy Heart by scientists, an area with high concentrations of nitrogen and methane. Finally we want to share some curious facts about the planet Pluto. Pluto is only half the width of the United States. Charon, the largest moon in the system alone, is about half the size of Pluto. The rest of the planets travel around the Sun in almost perfect circles. But not Pluto. It follows an elliptical path, with the Sun located far from its center. At Pluto's current distance from the Sun, the temperature on its surface is about 400 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. From Pluto, the Sun is seen only as a bright point in the sky, the brightest visible star. On Pluto, the light from the Sun is as bright as the light from the full Moon on Earth. How much did you know about Pluto, which of these facts are new to you and what do you think of this peculiar dwarf planet? I will be waiting to read your comments in this video, let's start a new productive debate. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.